Hi everyone, Dr. Sunil Dand, internal medicine physician. Welcome to another video. Seed oils are absolutely everywhere. They are also known as vegetable oils, which is a great marketing ploy from the food industry because they do not contain vegetables. They are not from vegetables, they are from seeds. And I've talked before about how I believe seed oils are inflammatory. I stay away from them. I do everything possible to avoid putting them in my body. And what seed oils am I talking about? Well, there are so many of them, including sunflower oil, corn oil, soybean oil, canola oil, rapeseed oil. They are everywhere. You look at ingredient labels and you will see them listed on food items that you wouldn't even expect. So I do try to stay away from them. And many people have asked me, why are seed oils inflammatory? And I would like to talk to you in this video about some theories why. Number one, they are very high in omega-6 fatty acids. And the problem in the Western diet over the last few decades is that we now consume way more omega-6 fatty acids compared to omega-3 fatty acids. It is this ratio, this imbalance, this increase in omega-6 fatty acids in all of these seed oils, which is believed to contribute to significant bodily inflammation. Number two, many of these oils are highly processed. They are made using chemical processes. They have chemicals added, heat added, and you are taking an already unstable chemical compound, the oil, and you're heating it up and adding chemicals and making it more unstable. You are oxidizing it, you are promoting free radicals, which are the chemicals and molecules in the body which promote many disease processes. So to me, it is simple common sense that this wouldn't be good for us. And indeed, there is evidence out there that all of these unstable molecules within the body obviously contribute towards inflammation. Number three, they are low in antioxidants. Antioxidants are what we want to be consuming to neutralize the effects of those free radicals causing oxidative stress. We want to neutralize those damaging effects which contribute to so many diseases. And if you are consuming any food product which is low in antioxidants, it is more likely to promote inflammation. Number four, they promote pro-inflammatory eicosanoids. Omega-6 fatty acids are the precursors to eicosanoids, which are pro-inflammatory molecules involved in various signaling pathways within the body. And especially when you have an imbalance between omega-6 and omega-3, that promotes an inflammatory type response within the body. Number five, a direct effect on gut health, especially the microbiome. The microbiome are the trillions of organisms, yes, trillions of organisms that naturally reside in our gut. From bacteria to fungi to other microorganisms, the microbiome is crucial for maintaining good health. We don't talk about it anywhere nearly enough. And when you consume seed oils, it is disruptive to this gut microbiome, and it helps to increase intestinal permeability, promoting inflammation, a direct effect on gut health. Number six, their role in chronic diseases. There is evidence and research out there that seed oil consumption has a direct effect on risk of many chronic diseases, which have inflammation as their core fundamental mechanism, including type two diabetes, heart disease, other inflammatory autoimmune diseases, and also a direct link to obesity. So there you go then, some reasons why seed oils are inflammatory, some theories, and I do subscribe to most of them. I do everything possible to avoid seed oils. In fact, it's become fun. When I go to the grocery store, I check food labels, and of course these seed oils are everywhere, and I do everything possible to avoid them. You can do it if you are determined and look hard enough. I do not want to be promoting inflammation of my cells, my body, and my brain. I adhere to the principles of an anti-inflammatory lifestyle. What oils do I go for? Well, extra virgin olive oil from a good source would be my favorite. If I'm cooking, butter, ghee, the organic versions. And there's also a lot of evidence out there behind coconut oil and avocado oil being much better. I don't personally use them, but there is evidence out there. But the main thing is to avoid those highly refined oils high in omega-6 content. And also, when you do get whatever oil or butter you do, make sure it is organic and as pure as possible. Thanks everyone for listening. Let me know your thoughts down below. Feel free to comment. Check out my academy and my free newsletter. Those links are down below. Hit the like button if you like this video and the bell button for more similar videos in the future. We will speak again very soon.